Hello, good morning friends. Uh, today I want to show you how to search for literature using a software called Publish or Perish. So all of the scholars who do literature survey or literature review tend to go to Google to search for articles. So I found this software uh, quite useful in consolidating all your search results and putting them together. So let me show you uh, about this software today. This software has been developed by uh, Miss uh, Annie Herzing. She is a professor of uh, international management at uh, Middlesex University, London. This software is available for free to download in Microsoft Windows and uh, you can install it on Mac also. So I have downloaded it and uh, this is how it looks like. So to start with I will just show you the layout of the software first and then we will see how it works. This software basically what it does is uh, it uh, consolidates results uh, from various data sources, precisely six data sources out of which three are free data sources, uh, Crossref, Google Search and Google Scholar Profile. The other three uh, out of which two are uh, uh, you know, re free registration is required and the third one Web of Science requires subscription. So let us see how to do a search and what are the benefits of uh, using this software for uh, doing a literature search on the internet. So let us take our famous Google Scholar. So I will search something in Google Scholar and show you what are the benefits of the software. Okay. Now say uh, there are various ways of searching uh, literature. You can search by the author's name or the publication name the title words and easiest is the keywords because it will throw up a lot of results which probably otherwise you will not know uh, that they are existing on the internet. So let us uh, say for example uh, I have been searching on this topic called training effectiveness. You can uh, actually select the years between which you want the uh, results to throw up from. Say suppose I want papers which have been published between 2015 to 2020. Otherwise what happens is uh, it will throw up results which have been published say some in 1980s or 1970s etc. which may not be relevant uh, in this present times. Uh, so you can adjust these dates accordingly. If you know the ISSN number you can put it here or you leave it open so that you get as many results as possible. So let's do a search and see what all it shows. Yeah. So the moment you press search, uh, the maximum it can accommodate is thousand results. So it takes some time uh, for this uh, software to throw up uh, so many results. So you can wait till it show up, shows up all the results, or you can um, say if you cancel it. Let us say we have cancelled it hundred results. So right now. I stopped the search at uh, 100 results. So it is showing 100 papers. Let us see what else, uh, what are the other uh, uh, data it shows up. Yeah, the most important thing uh, is when you do a Google search, you do not know how uh, you know important that paper is, how uh, famous a paper is. So one of the best uh, features I found it uh, in this software is uh, the citations. So in this case, See this paper is this paper this particular paper has been cited 415 times and 83 uh, citations per year. So there is a ranking uh, methodology which has uh, been devised by this uh, uh, software developers. So let's not go into that, but it's just a uh, general indication as to what is the rank. You can now sort the data. Uh, it is showing uh, see it is it's showing 100 results. So what all are there in these results? Let us see. First is the number of citations, number of citations per year, then the ranking as per the software and the others and the title of the paper, year it is published and the publication with journal and the publisher, in this case this is Springer publication, Springer is the publisher and uh, the type of whether it is a paper, book, web page or uh, you know abstract. So you can scroll and see. Now. In addition to the number of citations, uh, it also calculates the H index, G index, uh, HI normal, etc. So I will not uh, dwell upon the indices here, maybe we will 
uh, I'll, I'll show uh, uh, make a, another video for this NDC especially. Yeah. So now you can uh, uh, sort the results and uh, see the top say whatever you want. Say let us say uh, we want to see top 10 or I want to copy top 50 results or top uh, 20 results. So I'll go through each paper and see whether you know it is suiting my requirement or not. Yeah, this is okay. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, maybe I'm not interested in this, so I'll just unclick this. Yeah, maybe I'm not interested in this. So likewise, I can choose what I want to save and what I want to delete. So I will remove some things and I'll retain some things. Yeah. Now, what do I do after this? I can copy these results and save them as uh, save them in Excel. I copied. I'll simply paste them here. Yeah. So see what has come to Excel. Whatever data is shown there in the software. In addition to that, there is some additional data which is shown in the Excel software. Like it is actually shown the complete abstract of a particular paper. Okay, whether you want to use it or not, it is up to you. And uh, number of citations per year, number of citations per author, number of authors. the ranking of this paper, the website, the publisher, etc. So we got all this data. So what we can do uh, for a serious researcher, uh, he can actually keep a track of what all papers he has read, what are not required and he can keep, keep a track of uh, uh, the literature uh, uh, reviewed so that there is no duplication in, uh, in what you are reading and uh, uh, you can actually keep a track. So, uh, coming back to the software again, let's see how else uh, can we search. Okay. Now let's take a new new search. Yeah. So instead of uh, using keywords, uh, let me see if I can search with the title. So this is a paper which I have written in uh, 2007, and. Uh, I'll remove this or I'll maybe I'll say 2000 and say search yeah yeah this is the one so let's see whether this is the same paper or not yeah good it has been cited 23 times and uh, number of citations per year 1.77 so I can click here it takes me to the particular page yeah this is an IEEE publication yeah this is the one yeah somebody who wants to download can download and read it yeah so the other uh, panels in this in this window are uh, yeah, this, this keeps a track of what searches you have done in the past so that you don't have to keep searching the same things again. See, this is the training effectiveness which I did, measuring training effectiveness which I did in the, uh, in fact I haven't uh, completed the search, that's why the results are not showing up. Yeah. Learning styles. Uh, this is another search which I have done and I have used uh, Scopus instead of Google search here. In fact, I have stopped this uh, search, that's why it's not showing up. You can actually use uh, Crossref and uh, do the same search again. So, uh, so these are the results from uh, Crossref. Earlier, we have done the same thing with uh, Google Scholar. So, it'll throw up uh, different uh, kinds of results. 
some may be common so based on uh, what you which search engine you like you can actually use whatever you want and uh, then uh, compile your results together so uh, that's it friends uh, thank you very much uh, for your patient hearing i'll come up with more videos on uh, uh, literature review in the future thank you